when I'm using a Jiffy, I'm not afraid to use a lot of steam. The more steam, the better you're gonna be. Now, once I've got it steamed, I usually will hold it, make sure it's straight, lay it down, and then I start working on my crown. I'm one of those, I start in the center and work my way out. And I'm gonna show you my way. This is my way of shaping. When you try it, it might work for you, it might not. That is perfectly fine. But if you've never done it this way, I want you to try it, try it a few times, give it two or three tries before you decide it's not for you. This is what works for me, this is what makes me very efficient. So for you, I'm gonna look down the hat and I'm gonna look at my mark on the center, which would be here, and I'm gonna look down that mark and see, okay, is it lined up? So now I'm gonna steam it again. Now is when I really start kind of putting some more effort into it. So I know I need to bring this end here over just a little bit. So now I'm gonna start rounding this out. So now I have that nice kind of rounded edge of a minic instead of that sharp, really narrow point. A minic is usually a little bit wider in the center crease. It's not, I mean, different iterations of it can be narrow, but generally speaking, the minic is a little bit wider. It's a couple, basically two to three finger width on that center crease. Now I've got one end, I'm gonna come back, steam it, and then I'm gonna do the other end. And for me, the entire time that I'm doing this, I'm conversating with my customer. Now, if you're just learning how to shape, don't worry about talking to your customers. Don't focus on that. Focus on what you're doing here. Don't worry about here or here. That will come with time. So now I'm just kind of going through with my thumb and smoothing out the center crease because now I'm happy with it. Okay. I'm going to double check, make sure we're straight. Yep. We're still straight. Okay. Now I'm going to start working on the dimples. So I'm only steaming one side of the hat. I'm not gonna cover the whole hat in steam because I'm not using the whole hat. I'm only using one side. Some of the things I say may sound self-explanatory, but I'm gonna say them anyway, just in case they're not self-explanatory. So now I've got it steamed on the side that I wanna work on. I'm gonna keep that side facing me. I usually hold my fingers in the center crease to keep, basically to keep pressure in an even spot where I'm not rolling too far in or out. And then I'll start just basically on top and if I make this line, hopefully you can see this on camera, this is where the edge of this, this crease is. That's where I want to start. Now, now that I've said that, I've let it cool off a little bit. So straight down and out as a circle. That's all I do for my minute dimples. I don't do anything crazy. I start at the top. I pull straight down about an inch, inch and a half, come out and make an oval. From there, you can steam it again and polish up your, your edges. That's a lot of what shaping is, is polishing up your rough edges. That's the thing I see most people struggle with are the details. In this exclusive clip from our first live stream instructional video, we delve into the fundamentals of cowboy hat shaping. Whether you're an amateur eager to craft your first hat or a professional looking to perfect your techniques, our courses provide the guidance and expertise you need to excel. This video offers a glimpse into our detailed instructional process designed to make your hat shaping more efficient and effective. With subscriptions available for both amateur and professional levels, our live instruction sessions are tailored to suit all skill levels, ensuring you gain valuable insights and practical skills. Explore more about our comprehensive courses and how you can become proficient in hat shaping by visiting cowboycartelgroup.com forward slash school.